Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm, what's the concept of your outfit today? Like, you look evil and, you know, like a typical K drama villain. No one gets in my way. Let's all dismiss. This is a typical K drama villain look. So, K drama is widely known for romance and melodrama, but do you know what else it's recognized for? Uh, also, K drama is famous for its makjang plot, and we have a term for that. It's called makjang drama. That uh, means soapy K dramas with extreme and absurd elements in their plots, and not only elements, the storyline itself is crazy and ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Well, for those wondering how outrageous it can be, characters regularly survive near death events including a bullet to the head, a woman comes back alive with a mole and no one recognizes her, and a cancer patient refuses to get treatment saying cancer cells are part of life. Like, really? Are we co-living with cancer cells? <laughs> Refusing to get treatment? Right. Oh my god. So the thing about these dramas is that once you're hooked, you can't stop watching. So to introduce you to this world, We've got two of the newer series that will show you textbook bakta. So what's the first drama? First off, let's start with Happy Sisters. Happy Sisters is about a devoted but infertile housewife Yin Yen. Suddenly, her marriage turns upside down when she discovers that her husband Lee Jin Seok is cheating on her with his assistant Chu Wa Young. You know the thing about these K-dramas is they always have these elements that make the audience is super angry and mm -hmm. one of them is cheating, right? Yeah, These men always cheat on their wives. So the affair breaks up the marriage and that's where all that makjang plot starts. So Cho actually faked her identity as a Harris to get close to Lee. What? and swindle his company fun. So her life is full of lies. She pretends to be pregnant to marry him but throws herself down the stairs to frame Yoon for her miscarriage. And of course, Cho won't stop until she gets the money, which involves a whole lot of fighting and food slap. You guys, you have to, you have to see it. You know, like the, these food slap is a very <laughs> typical scene from Makjang K dramas. Someone gets slapped with kimchi. Kimchi, kimchi, kimchi slap, slap, right? So the title name is Everybody Say Kimchi, and they literally took it to the slap with oh the kimchi God. slap. Everybody say kimchi. <laughs> Everybody say kimchi. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, let's see the food slap scene. Okay, she, At her she's pulling out. Mom. She's pulling out that. Out of nowhere. Oh my god. <laughs> and so funny that she has Jinjang in her bedroom. <laughs> she holds it like that and crushes Jinjang into his face. <gasps> what the hell? Oh my god. And here's another one. He misses his ex wife's kimbap. And look at her. Oh! Wow. <laughs> I mean, you're just, you're oh! Oh! That, that was a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> and she's even making her film it. Ooh! Pam <laughs> flying out. <laughs> you can't call it a bakjang without the invincible character. So this fight. All the mur murder attempts, the male lead character just never dies. Murder attempts? Like what kind of murder he attempts? He gets stabbed, he gets smashed, and he like gets strangled. Here, I'll show you. Oh, oh my god. <gasps> That's after he got stabbed. So what's next? So next we have another makjang drama, which is very popular and its storyline is so complicated. You'll have a very hard time understanding the storyline. There are so many characters involved. So this drama is called Sister is Alive. Sister is Alive. Sister is Alive. And also there is something behind that title. Mm -hmm. You'll get to know that if you watch that drama. So this series is actually Chang Soi's second work with the scriptwriter Kim Soon-ok mm -hmm. since the smash hit series 
temptation of wife, ane yu, in Korean, also known as the ultimate makjang drama. Yeah, Kim Soonog is known for her makjang dramas. And a little warning before we get into this, the story is very disturbing, as it kind of shows how far people can go when their life is driven by nothing but greed. So as I told you before, this drama involves a lot of characters, which all intertwined, <laughs> all intertwined, and so many villains, right? right? So, so these three lead characters, watch the actress Min Dele, dedicated mother Kim Eun Young, and newly wedded bride Kang Ari, lose their loved ones to tragic events caused by these villainesses. As they go vigilante style on taking revenge, the antagonists fight back, leading to this epic scene. I'm scared how ridiculous it's going to get. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna top the happy sisters, trust me. Okay, so there's vicious, ruthless Yang Dari. She steals a secret cosmetic formula from her boyfriend to start a new life under fake ID. Fake identity? Yes. Okay, so this fake identity is something like a number one rule in makjang dramas, mm -hmm. right? And they, they always come back with this typical like, like dress and make this grand entrance. Like, I'm not Yang Dari, I'm Sarah Park. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. So Yang doesn't let anything get in the way of becoming rich. She, spoiler alert, caused a car accident that killed Kang's husband. She also kidnaps her little sister, blackmails, and attempts murder. It's like, you, you get all the villain. So she kidnapped her sister? Yes. So she knows her past as Yang Dari. You know my past, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna get rid of you. Yes. She, of course, is not the only villain here. Heiress Ku mm -hmm. is the mistress mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. Kim's husband who caused the death of Kim's daughter. So she shows no remorse. And adopts Kim Eun Young when she exposes her affair. Also, she has been selling toxic cosmetics to customers, even knowing the risk of causing cancer. She has no moral kind of sense, right? No. These evil people, like appearing in K dramas, they're all always so rich, like filthy rich. Yes. Filthy rich, red lips, sunglasses, yeah. you know, looking down upon so everyone. <laughs> She's an heiress of a cosmetics company. Mm -hmm. Okay, and she kind of sells toxic cosmetics, cosmetics. to customers, mm -hmm. even though she knows that. Right. Okay. To prevent people from knowing that secret, here's what she does. Okay. Here she goes. That's face cream, right? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, please. That's, oh my god. <laughs> please. Oh my god. <gasps> She's eating face cream like ice cream. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, this is epic. This is wow, very, very dramatic. <laughs> okay. So, do we have more? Oh, there's still more. Yi Gewa, an ambitious housemaid who's after Gu's family money, she attempts to kill several people, including Gu's grandmother. And if she can't do it herself, she calls a hit. Um, is that even legal? That's illegal, right? <laughs> that is not legal. But you know, people in K-drama, they just call on a hit, like, you know, they're yeah, ordering delivery. Kill somebody for me, you know? <laughs> um, what am I gonna have for dinner? Oh, wait, you know, let me just call on a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of him. <laughs> the consequences for these villains are very extreme as This well. is the best part. I know. Yang Dari goes blind after an incident. Ku Sehyeong dies of cancer after using her own cosmetics. Oh, yes, that's because she ate that. Mm -hmm. oh. And Yi Gewa hurts her head while running away, ending up in a mental hospital where she serves her prison time. Okay. So she goes crazy. For more craziness, please check out the drama yourself. The ridiculous storyline will give you a hard laugh. Right, so there's a whole lot of detail that we left out, so you have to watch it to know the whole detail. This is all we have for now. For more on Korean drama, stay tuned for our next episode. If you have any drama you would like us to cover in the series, leave us your comments below and don't forget to subscribe.
Thanks for watching. Bye bye. bye. bye.